So as you guys know, a few months back, we started offering Park and Less Striping as a standalone service as well as an add-on for all of our commercial contracts. And since adding on something new that we've never done before, it's really reminded me of how it feels like whenever you're first starting out. We had to get a striping machine. We had to line up a paint supplier. We had to get stencils. We had to map out exactly how we wanted to handle quoting these jobs. And then we had to actually go out and perform the job, develop the workflows, learn the equipment. And basically everything with this business was brand new to us. And going through this process reminded me of something that nobody ever talks about. And that is whenever you're starting a new business that you're going to make mistakes. If you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, and collecting payments all for free, check out Quote IQ. It'll be linked in the comment section and the description as well. It is impossible to be perfect at something that you've never done before. And for my guys who are overthinkers or worry about everything going perfect with this new business, the message of today's video is that it will not. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to mess things up. You're going to have to have difficult conversations with customers from time to time, and you're going to have to be relentless through all of this because no matter how many videos you watch or how much prep you do or how much planning you do or how much research you do, things will pop up that you weren't prepared for. Mistakes will be made that you didn't account for, and ultimately, that is okay. It's not about what happens to us. It's about how we respond to that. So how will you respond when you mess something up? How will you communicate that with the customer? How will you make it right with them? These are some of the things to consider. So on this job that you guys are watching right now, uh, we did have a few mess ups. We did the handicap ramps and we really didn't properly prep everything and we ended up getting some overspray on the building. We also weren't 100% happy with the lines uh, that we painted. One of the lines ended up being longer than it should have been and that was because the handle stuck on the striper when kale released it uh so that got messed up and then uh, we had a paint clog in the tip on another line that we were doing so we had a break in it and it just wasn't perfect and that's one of the things that we try to do every time we go out there we try to do a perfect job so this job didn't come out exactly how we wanted and that's one thing about parking lot striping is it is much less forgiving than pressure washing if you make a mistake it's a little harder to correct because pain is a little bit more uh, permanent than some of the things that you can do on a pressure washing job either way though mistakes are mistakes and the way that we go about handling those is the same so we did our best we communicate with the business owner after the job was done and we said hey listen we did we messed up on the line here uh, we'll try to get that remedy for you we did get a little overspray on the building but we will be back to wash that and then we learned from it we said okay you know what next time we need to make sure that we mask off the building properly or we need to make sure that we have the proper tools for that but some mistakes, you know, are just going to happen. Like like with Kale releasing the handle and it didn't release the way it should have and the line ended up being a little bit longer than it should have. Some of these things are just going to happen. There's going to be paint clogs. There's going to be things that mess up. There's going to be things outside of your control that maybe there isn't a lesson there. Maybe it's just something that happens and, and maybe you learn to set customer expectations up front. 